I mean, there's nothing I can say, is there, to be honest with you. You know, there really isn't. Right, welcome back. I mean, I'm just going to say that. Right, so we're going to get straight into it. Basically, what we're going to be doing, yeah, I know everyone's going to be saying, what the fuck is going on? Sergeant, right? Sergeant is like literally banging out some fucking smashes and we can't believe it. I can't believe it. Well, I can because I'm too amazing. You can believe it because you know that I'm too amazing and we're just doing it for you like a fucking, you know, like a fucking person who was an anorexic suddenly woke up one day and said, yeah, I need to have a fucking McDonald's fucking beef burger with fucking chips on the side. Right, so what we're doing right now, the first thing I want to do is I need to address Pelosky. Now, Pelosky did ask specifically for the ingredients for um, for the sauce that I done last night. Okay, Pelosky, right, listen to this. Right, unless you have a pork loin joint about that long, right, and they're going to roast off in the oven and collect the fat and the juices, and then you collect them fat and juices, and then you put it in a pan and then you boil it off let it cool down put it in the fridge separate the fat from the juices then you've got the juices left basically let me just say this which is unlikely unlikely so what i will say right if you want to use a substitute right right if you want i'll have to get it out just in case you know we're getting misguided right use some bovril Right, because it basically tasted roughly like bovril, right? Now, obviously, don't just get a big scoop of bovril and put it in the pan. Mix it with a bit of water. Now, you want it fairly thick, so I would suggest, I don't know, if you want a pan like this, about two, um, two teaspoons of bovril to about a fucking interruptions. I'm, I swear they're watching us. Right, so about two teaspoons of bovril, a cup of water, mix it up, get it all warmed up, and you want it about the consistency of honey. So like that, or like that, right? So so we wait, so do that, right? Just if you can't, obviously, um, get a, a big pork loin jo uh, joint. Obviously, don't try to do it with like just a little tiny pork chop. Or, I mean, you could maybe try and do it. No, you need a big one. You need a big fucking length of me. Like, that's what your fucking missus said. Right, so that's the situation. Um, and then with that, you want to whack in about um, two teaspoons of, of Dijon mustard and just some cre and some double cream. And that'll be, and then what you want to do is get some gorgonzola cheese or blue cheese. Blue cheese is probably a little bit too. It doesn't really, as long as it's a blue cheese form, it doesn't matter if it's gorgonzola or any sort of creamy blue cheese. Whack that in. That's your sauce, right? So that's that done. That's that's sorted. Right now, Pelosi is going to be well happy with that. So I did promise him, right? Right, okie dokie. So what we're doing? Right, we're doing basically steak, egg, chips. Uh, and fried tomatoes, yeah? It's gonna be a man's, this is a man's meal, yeah? It's not a fucking about meal, but we are gonna do, use the rest of the sauce that we've got left in here, right? I'm just gonna pimp it up. I'm gonna make it slight, I'm gonna make it different, right? That's gonna be the plan. So what we're gonna do, how are we gonna do that? How are we gonna execute that, right? So the first thing I need to do, right? Is we need to sort out the chips first because I need to get the chips boiled. So let's get that out of the way. So I want to use the rest of that sauce up because otherwise if I do not use it by probably the next two days it will go off because it is cream right and it weren't exactly like I bought the, um, the double cream like yesterday. I did buy it last week. So we're already touching cloth as we're fucking speaking anyway, right? And I have, uh, months ago, not months ago, but was it last year, I think it was, and uh, I used some cream in a dish. Um, this is slightly embarrassing. And then uh, I woke up the next day and I was well ill. I was well ill. And basically, I, I probably did say in the last previous video, or that video at that time, 
Um, and when I checked the date on it, it was 10 days out of date. And it looked fine. I said to me boss, I said, I don't get it. The cream, it looked fine. It tasted fine. But the next day, wow, I was tripping, mate. I actually thought I had like, I thought I had fucking um, some form of germification of LSD. It was fucking mental, mate. I couldn't believe it. Right, so I've just, right, so we just peeled some potatoes. Right, now the only decent potatoes I could get because I've got other potatoes, but they're all like new potatoes. There's a couple of old red potatoes there, but I'm not willing to use them. I'm not, I'll probably have to chuck them, actually. Um, that's probably where we got our special friend infestation from. Um, now, we have got some fucking updates from Double Agent 120. I tell you, fucking, there's been some really serious shit kicking off. Um, I'm uh, very dubious stuff as well, actually. Um, but you know, if it works, it works, and what can I say? You know, it's his. It's, uh, don't forget, Double Agent 120 with his furry uh, rainbow underpants, yeah, and his plastic rainbow sword has got a sidekick of Bum Cheats Cat, and um, yeah, Bum Cheats Cat. And don't forget where he is, right? He's, he's still in Scandinavia, right? He's defeated. Um, um, Vlad Ryder's uh, brother, uh, Ericsson, uh, Vlad Ericsson, or whatever we want to call him, he's dead now, he did die, suffocated to death with uh, Double Agent 120's furry rainbow underpants, can't say any more can I, um, so there we are, um, right, so what I was going to say, but yeah, um, he's going to get over here, uh, and he's using a very dubious mess method, of doing it, um, I'm not going to say anything, but there we go. Well, I will, but right. So we need to get these potatoes in. So let's give these, let's give this water a nice salting. All right. Right. So anyway, welcome back. So I know it's all getting a bit spicy, isn't it? So yes, yeah, so we're doing a man's dinner today, right? And I'm going to be eating my. This is basically going to be my dinner. But I just want to put a little bit of mitchiness, a bit of mitchiness on it, right? Right. So. We're gonna we're gonna cut we've cut these in half. Now I want some chunky chips. Yeah, I want some chunkers. Right, I don't mind a bit of chunky. Right, I'll take anything at this point. Do you know what, right? My roastability is so high I can't believe it. it's actually off the scale. Right, I'm just gonna chuck them in. I want big chunky chips. So they're not actually gonna be like chips, they're almost gonna be like big chunky wedges. But that's what I want. That's the sort of style I'm going for. Because we want a man's dinner. Yeah. We're talking back, we're talking about a man who's just, you know, had a hard day's graft. You know, you know, he's got back, he's had a he's got a loving wife, you know, she said to she said to herself, you know what, my husband's so amazing, he gives me a fucking good old ploughing, literally probably like three or four times a week. And then on a, on, a, on a Saturday night, it gives me one up the arse as well. And I take a facial for him. So that's the sort of thing we're going for, right? So we want chunky chips. We want big fucking boulars. We want chips that have got some gonads on them and are going to take no fucking shit. Talking about taking no shit, we've got the wooden spoon out, right? We wouldn't spoon it for every... That was done in one take. I didn't even drop it. I can't believe it. I'm just getting too good at the taking, right? Right, first thing I want to do, right, is I want to, I've got butter out, right? And I've also got beef fat out as well. So I've got beef fat in here and butter. So we are doing double, triple for you. Right, so what I want to do, I want to get this up to a higher heat than what it is. I'm going to take some red onion, right? And it's all going to make sense because what we're going to do is we're going to fry off this red onion and I'm basically, we've got the basis of a sauce, right? Jesus, my underpants are now getting erectile defunctions. I, iPhone 16 and iPhone whatever plus, I've got no interest in that. Why do I need a new phone? I don't need a new phone, sod off. Right, okay, so we've got some red onion, right? Now, um, I was basically, I mean, I was thinking about doing just, a, I was just going to really do like a real basic steak, chips, egg, egg, two eggs and tomato, 
and some beans. Now the reason why I'm doing this dish is because a few months ago, I think it was, um, I think it was Sergeant Major Rollersworth, and I, I was doing like them um, steak videos, the rump steak and the sirloin steak with German, a German potato salad. And he said, no, let's do like, do like a proper like, you know, fucking chunky chips, eggs, fucking steak. And I thought, yeah, let's do that actually. Um, and that's what we're gonna do. But I wanna just make it a little bit mitchy for you. And I also wanna use up that sauce. So what we're gonna be doing now is we're literally gonna be pimping out that sauce. So we're gonna take these red, this red onion, right? Now, obviously with onion, it's like mushroom, right? Always use, like always be willing to use more than what you think. Cause you're never gonna have, like when you cut, like they probably cut half of this onion cause it'll, it'll turn out to about that, right? So, you know, don't forget all these, um, uh, fruits and vegetables, or well, they're not fruits, but these fr these vegetables are um, mostly full of water, so that will evaporate, evaporate, right? So uh, we want to use a little bit more than what we than what we think by the eye is required, right? I'm going to check can productions. I don't want any um, any fail ups on this, right? Okay, okay, so, but I want to use a mixture because I want to use a flavour, right? So the, the red onion is just going to create a little bit more sweetness and obviously the white onion will do what the white onion does. Now I do need, I do need to keep an eye on these, on them chips. So basically I need to get ready, I need to get everything ready. I'm always ready anyway, you know, at the end of the day. Right, let's have a little update on work situation. Right, work situation. Um, a bit busier today, so that was good. So we had a little bit more, a bit more activity. Um, I was just a little bit worried about yesterday. You know, it was very dead and very quiet. I don't really like that. You know, I mean, you know, I get concerned. You know, because I don't want to be. And don't forget, I'm on like a zero hours contract in my job. Um, so it's not brilliant, but I like, you know, I like the people there. I mean, there are some people there that don't really like us very much, um, and it does piss me off a little bit, but, and, and I was, you know, I'm in two minds, do I fuck off and just have a new start? I don't know. I mean, I might even meet a bird if I do that. I mean, I know, I know it's a bit of an extreme situation, but I don't really like to, like, I've never used, like, um, I've never really had much success on like a dating app, but any birds, oh this white onion's giving me aggravation. Um, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting runny eye, I'm getting runny eye, I'm not getting runny underpants, I'm getting runny eye. But I've never had like much success on like a dating app or anything like that. Um, and really I shouldn't really add, add a need for a dating app because I already had a fucking perfectly good girlfriend that I completely fucked that up with uh, in one night. As everyone knows about how I ruined my, literally, basically ruined my own life by being like a twat. Um, you know, and at the end of the day, you know, how old was I? I was 29, you know, obviously I looked a lot better. Um, I was a lot younger, and even then, even then chaps, no, it weren't happening. It sort of was, but I was so severely mentally distressed of what I did once I realised it about a few months on, but by then it was already too late, and it was like, wow, you know, she'd already met off, uh, moved on, and met new cop literally, and uh, and I was basically left in limbo, uh, moved into this flat, and just thought, I've literally like literally ruined my life, and uh, that is the case today, uh, and that's why we do, um, I, I, you know, just. You know, we do the cooking videos, to obviously interact with my amazing squad members and gang members. Uh, but it is a bit, you know, I, I mean, I, don't forget, I'm not, like, I don't watch TV, right? So I'm on like the use of the tubes, and I've been like YouTube since 2006. So I know a lot of stuff about a lot of stuff. And it is a lot easier for girls to move on. Believe me, right, it is. Uh, unless you are, I tell you what they don't like moving on from, 
if you are a really tall good looking bloke with a massive cock and you earn loads of money then they do find that harder to move on right but you're just an average joe dude they can and, and if you leave them or if you fuck it up or whatever they can move on literally in about fucking four days mate they can forget you like that so don't be under any um, disillusionment chats mate uh, women are a different thing and it's not the case that I want a bird uh, I sort of I do and I don't I do for you know getting older reasons uh, and I don't for uh, aggravational reasons right right because I'll tell, I'll tell you something in a minute right so let me just get this I want to keep an eye right I want to get the obviously I want to keep a very close eye on these potatoes right so I don't want them breaking apart, but the same, I've got to catch them at the perfect time, right? Right, so I'm going to whack in some beef fat, right? There we go. Right, so I'm going to whack in some beef fat. Not too much. So I've got to be careful, right? Right, so uh, to, Pol uh, to Pelosi, Lieutenant Pelosi, I hope that information was okay. So, let, so a little quick reminder. Just get some bovril, mix it with some water if you can't uh, able to get a big uh, pork loin joint. Um, and um, uh, the Dijon mustard uh, and the cream and the gorgonzola cheese or blue cheese, any sort of creamy, stilton-y sort of cheese. And then you're on to, and then from then on, you could do what you want with it. I mean, if you want to put fucking orange peel in it, then you can. If you want to, like, you, you've got a, like, a blocked up nose and you want to fucking snot your bogeys out in it, then fucking, fucking, you know, good on you, mate. Do whatever you want to do. Or if you want to put your dirty underpants in it with bits of shitty shit stains or skidders on it, I don't give a shit. You can do what you want to do. But that's your basic. That's your basic. That's the basic sauce, right? Right, so we've got the, the fat in here. Well, I'm now going to put a bit of butter, right? So we have got the fat in now, and this is where we now do have to be very careful in what we're doing, right? right a little bit of mix going on, right? A little bit of mix going on. So all I want to do is fry off these onions, right? And I've got to keep an eye on these potatoes. It's doing okay, they're all right. I don't want to poke them too much. I mean, I, don't, I wouldn't mind doing that poking myself, actually. Uh, I mean, I might have to do that at the end of this month, uh, chaps, because like, the roastability is, like, off the fucking chain. Like, literally, as soon as I wake up in the morning, I'm thinking about Fanny straight. I mean, I've been doing that for years anyway. But, I mean, like, I've had, I'm on five years without even a shag, and it's just like, like, there's only so much wanking you can do, do you know what I mean? Right, okay, okie dokie. Right, I'm going to squeeze this in out. Right, so we're going to break these onions up as we put them in. There we go. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so what was I getting back to? Yeah, about like, you know, you know, half of me would like to have a girlfriend, the other half just wouldn't. Because it's just going to be like a lot of freedom. I'm even saying this like I've even got a fucking choice. I don't personally think I have to end up. I mean, I'm 47. Uh, I've been like single mostly for like 18 years. Um, I basically think I'm pretty screwed on that front to be honest with you. I mean, it might do, I don't know. I mean, I've probably got to wait for them to all like have like a manic depressive moment, get divorced, get ploughed by loads of other blokes, and then I might meet them one day and you know, and then I've got like a saggy back fanny bagless who's probably got mentally distressed orders. A, because she's probably been fucked about with and B, that she's a bird, so, and all birds are fucking mental anyway, so, and they cost you loads of money, I mean, you know, if you, do, if you have got a bird out there, chaps, the only time they don't really cost you um, too much money is probably when you've been with them for ages, I would imagine, so, I mean, that's what my bird was like, but then that didn't end very well, did it, so, I wasn't exactly the best boyfriend, it wasn't the case of that, it's just, I just didn't really know, you know, I didn't really, I just saw her mostly as like, sort of like my best friend. So it was, you know, I didn't really treat her as much as like in a romantic sense. 
as like a girlfriend. I just, I don't know, it's, it, was, it was quite strange really. It was almost like I'd known her all my life. It was really weird. So, right, we need to cook, whack this up really high because I need to get these onions really sweated down and I need to start concentrating on this situation. Right, so this is going to be quite important. So we need to start getting a plate ready. I know the chips are not going to be that far away. But I'm almost going to try and do them like um, um, like a roast potato when I do like a roast potato dish. So I do need these up quite high. So let's get another um, let's get cousin a wooden spoon out so I can I can just keep an eye on what we're doing. Okay, okay. I mean we're getting there. And they're starting to. So the potatoes I've got are baking potatoes, right? Now, I know a lot of people might say, oh, actually, I mean, one of the best potatoes to use for chips is probably um, a red potatoes. They're really good for chips, or Maris Piper, Zia basic chip. Um, baking potatoes, actually, if you do them right, they can come out, and we're doing them as chips. So it's not like I'm gonna be roasting them off or anything like that. Um, if you do them correctly, they can they can come out okay. So right. So anyway, like I said, um, yeah, we're on the bird front, like um, like I've got <clears throat> like I've got a, a couple of things like a little. I mean, my sense of humour is quite warped, and uh, I, I know everyone. And does everyone remember Mr. Mark Chong? And I'm hearing a yeah. Right. So my torture um, situation for Mark Chong. Because he, when he worked with us, he never used to shut the fuck up, right? So what I used to say, this is how I would kill him off, right? If I had a choice and I had a, a killing method for Mr. Mark Chong, even though I love him to bits, he's a bit of a knobhead, but I, I still like him, I would basically gag him, tie him to a chair, turn off the lights and just close the door, and that's him done, right? Now we've got another bloke at work who is basically a bit of a germ, a, a bit of a germaphobe, right? He's always washing his hands, his name's Neil, and he's just one of them, he's like, he'll wash his hands, then he'll do it again, and again, and again, and again. I actually said to him, I said, why don't you just wash your hands in bleach? And he's like, oh yeah, that'd be a good idea. And I said, like, oh, don't you, Bob? Right, and I said to him, right, if I was gonna talk to you today, right, this is what I would do, right? I'd put him under general anaesthetic for about 20 minutes, knock him out, whack him in a cell with no wash facilities, no cloths in there at all, not a bed sheet, nothing, and just before he wakes up, I'll just dip his hands in some dog shit, and then we'll have a little video camera and watch him go mental, and I think that'd be fucking hilarious. Uh, what would kill me off? What would kill me off? I'll tell you what would kill me off, would be spending the day with someone like my boss's wife, who does like to go clothes shopping and spend a lot of money in Lakeside or somewhere like that. Uh, yeah, a whole day doing that. Yeah, that'll do my brain in, that'll kill me off. I would not be able to handle that. I don't go, the last clothes I bought were, like, and I shit you not, I'm not like taking a piss or anything. <coughs> the last clothes I actually bought myself was in about 1996. I just don't buy clothes, I just get them given to me. I don't really need to, so. Right, they're fine, I'm gonna take them out now. Otherwise, we're literally on the fucking cusp of. Right, I've got to be really careful. I'm gonna drain off. Right, wow. They are literally about to fall apart. Right, let's let them sit. Right, it's getting quite warm in here now, so I need to... Right, and these are getting nice and smoky. These are getting nice and smoky. I've actually got... Yeah, I've probably got a little bit too much onion, but fuck it, who cares? I'll just I'll just put it in a sandwich or something. Wow, we've got loads of... Um, uh, I'm going to have to open the window here, because it is getting like... It's getting hairy fucking toes in here at the moment, right? I've got some smoke really coming off. But that's what I want. I want to get them like a nice colorization on them. They're going to be absorbing that butter. 
I'm going to put in a little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper. All right. There we go. We're just going to buff them out. We're going to buff them out like we mean it, right? Right, okay, I've got to be really careful on the chips because I think I might have, have I taken them too far? I don't know. Is that going to be for the chips? That's not for the chips, is it? So I've got the wrong plate out. Right. Okay, okay. I've got the same on there, fuck off. Right, okay, okay. Right, so I'm going to have to be really gentle as I lay these chips out. Right, they are chunky chips, I don't want them breaking up and they haven't, that's nice. Right, we need to separate them. Yeah, so like I said, I mean, yeah, fucking clothes shopping in Lakeside for me, like especially with the birds, oh, the shoe shops would be like, oh, mate, the shoe shops, I'll, I'll tell you a little funny story, actually, because I'm a little bit behind the time, well, I'll say I'm, I'm behind the times, I am literally a man from, like, the, the early 90s, right? Or even the 80s, to be honest with you. Uh, right, let's turn that down. Right. I know we've got to get on with double agent 120. Right, we're going to give these a little bit of a bit of sea salt. And that's all we're going to do. And we're going to whack them in the fridge. I want them to cool down, right? So they are really soft. You know, if I even fucking... Uh, if, even if we had a hamster... <coughs> if even if you had a hamster that guffed on these they probably start falling apart, right? That's how delicate they are. So we're gonna whack them in the fridge and they will just firm up. Now, how do I know that? Because I'm just too amazing, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Right, okie dokie. All right, let's get these moved around. Right, so I need a bowl, because I want a bowl to put them in, right? So, here we go. Let's get everything ready and get it moved off. So we're just gonna, like I said, we're just pimping our sauce really. That's all these onions are for. And there's other things that are going in as you can probably see. Well, not at, at the moment, because I'm blocking your view with my pan. It's my pan of amazement. But I'm after the flavors in there. That's what I'm after, right? I'm after the flavors that are in that pan. And that, right, so that's the nicely fried onions, right? You know, don't be afraid. When it's a pan and it's high heat, do not be afraid, right? Just learn to control your temperatures and learn to control your oven, right? And start to get an understanding of it, right? Don't worry about anything like it's going to be like too like. In, I'm just checking like what's going on at the moment, right? Okie dokie, right? Okie dokie, right? Let's get ready. Let's get ready to do a situation. Right, next I want to whack in now is some just some bacon, right? So there's gonna it's like I said, this is a man's meal. This is gonna be a steak and chips, but for a man the can. Yeah. And it's a see it's I'm gonna call this, you know, single man steak and chips. Don't just have steak and chips, yeah. Give it some love, give it some spices, yeah. Give it a bit of a the durability and the nobility and all the other abilities. I'm going to wake one off now. I know, I know Sergeant Major Rons, he loves my abilities. Uh, I know he does. So I'm going to ability it till the cows come home, right? So once we put that bacon in, I do not want any movement on the bacon. I don't want you to touch it. I don't you want even to breathe near it. You know, if you have to breathe, put a fucking oxygen mask on. Hang out the window, get your ball sacks hair, your hairy ball sacks out, and say, yes, I'm free. I'm free to fry my bacon into any situation that I fucking want to. And if I'm not allowed to, eat my underpants and suck on my fucking hairy toes. And that's all you got to say. Yeah? Don't let them fucking tell you what to do. Yeah? Just be a free man. Like I said, it's a man's meal. Yeah? And it's a man's meal that will become true, equal, well not equal, because we're the best anyway. And uh, and that's all I've got to say on that one. So there we go. Right, hang on a minute. Right, okay, we're coming back at ya. 
Right, okie dokie, now what I want to whack in here, I want to whack in a little bit more, I want to whack in a little bit more beef fat, right, a little bit more beef fat, and this is pure beef fat, this ain't like mucking about beef fat, right, this is pure, this ain't fake beef fat, you know, it ain't like something I bought down the shop and it says it's partially beef fat with some, like, vegan fucking carrot juice in it, no, 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 this is proper beef fat. This is literally from the cow's fucking udders. That's how beefy it is. It's from the bull's fucking foot bull fat that has been roasted off into a scenario that only I'm aware of and you're aware of. And it says to me, yes, I came from that place and you can too. Right, we're getting some nice smokiness now and that's what I want. I want smokeability. I want durability, fuck off. I want just so I had a moment there, we had a bit of an intruder alert there. Right, so what we're trying to do now is get a little bit, a lot of smoke coming off there. <coughs> I'm getting a lot of smoke, I'm gonna have to turn this a bit down a bit. It's getting a bit, it's getting a bit, it's getting a bit too ball sacky, frankly, to be honest with you. Right, okay. So we want it crisp, yeah? We want it fried off and crisp. And that's how I want it to be. I'm sanding back a little bit because I've, I've gone a little bit overboard on the smoke now that I'm a bit susceptible to smokage, right? Okie dokie. Right, okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn all this off now. I'm going to let that sit, yeah? I'm going to let that sit. I've got the steak that is already out, right? I don't need to start to even bother thinking about that, right? I'm just concentrating on this bacon. I'm going to let it sit in now. If it goes, if it burns a little bit, that's even better, right? Right. To all you fucking lovely pimple poppers, blackhead munchers, and fucking crusty underpant wearers, I'm going to call that a part one. And I will see all you lovely fucking hair eaters in fucking part two. And with that, I'm going to take that off now, and I will fucking leave it with that. Yeah, see you in part two. This is part one of a man, steak and chips, done with a touch of Mitch. See you in part two, you lovely fuckers. With that, be with her.